What's going on, everyone? This is Michael Stewart Isaacs. And this is Shemek Ebony. And this is your next edition of Sunday, Sunday Stacks. Stacks. We are back. Sunday Stacks, man, the time of the week that just allows for us to all unpack and just really examine did our week stack up the way we anticipated. And as always, we create episodes that will make sure your family, your community, and your company are uplifted, as well as we're going to give you some thought leader kind of quotes to really help you think differently and help to enhance your world. Mm -hmm. So first and foremost, we always got to give a quick shout out to our sponsors. I want to thank QuickBooks for supporting the work that we're doing, as well as the work I do through Entrepreganda. QuickBooks is a software tool that allows for us to continue as entrepreneurs and people who are just business owners who to keep their business together, make sure that they have all they need to stay organized. So there'll always be a link in the bio. So check it out. In so the you description. Can, in the description, yes. We will put in the description that you'll be able to check out our links for QuickBooks and get you a discount. So thank you, QuickBooks, always for your support. Um, any shout outs your way, Shemeka? Absolutely. I really love the opportunities I get to connect with other women leaders for empowerment. And I just want to shout out, we have, thanks to Forum, an online virtual platform where we can engage in biweekly uh, times to check in, hold each other accountable, and grow our leadership capacity. We have Lead Hership Empowerment Group coming up. You can sign up. Links are in the description. We also have, um, for those of you that are women leading DEI uh, and B work in your organizations and you may be having a, a challenging time getting started and not knowing what to do or needing support or to be renewed and refueled. Well, Forum has given us another place virtually where we can meet and connect. And I have a cohort coming up that's launching and I would love for you to join us in our virtual group to be restored and re-energized. Carrying the work of DEI and B is very hard. Uh, and when you're carrying it alone, it may feel very siloed. So let's come together and network and refill your cup so you can keep doing the great work to create a better future for all of us. We love that. And we want to make sure that everyone feels that they have a future that they all can grow and take part in. And that's why we created this Sunday Stacks place to allow for us, again, week to week, see how it's stacking up. Give it that conscious examination. Am I making the decisions and the choices I need to grow? Am I really building solid relationships? Am I making sure that my family time is being prioritized, my own personal self-care? We take you on this full range journey here at Sunday Stacks because we really want to empower those who really need to hear a refreshing voice and refreshing ideas that will allow for them to really reboot and recharge. As always, Sunday Stacks is a production of I Am Brilliant. I Am Brilliant is an online community, online tool. We've been building movements in across the country, really just mm-hmm. empowering the brilliance to allow everyone to have the ability to shine and let them know that there are leaders like us that will make sure that your shine will count. And we want to continue to have all the items how you see us in the Shemekka Mobile. Anytime you see us in their community, the I Am Brilliant Tour is coming. Sunday Stacks will be a part of that as well, too. So we're always excited. And as we're kicking off the tour season and getting ourselves ready for what's to come, we're still in Women's History Month. And what we want to do is unpack some of the phenomenal things week for week that you all are doing. So please let us know in the comments. Tell us some of the events that you've gone to. Send us links. Send us YouTube clips. Whatever you must do. Sunday Stacks is an exclusive podcast here on YouTube. So definitely like and subscribe. We need the support. But we want to unpack something amazing for this week in women's history because my amazing Amazing wife, partner, co-host here, co-region <laughs> as we've developed here to, in regards to what she's done this week. Shemeka Ebony, the work you've done just this week alone in women's history is history. And I want to applaud you. But I also oh, want to you. not be vague and unpack that for the audience. Let them know some of the amazing things that you've done this week, um, the events that you're a part of for women. Let them know the uh, uh, the things you've been featured on Capital Tonight and that's a spectrum program that talks yes. about, you know, political leadership and those, like you said, the ones you develop. And that's the level of leadership development. Shemeka is so caring, but she's so wise and she helps us get past the blockages, bringing a spiritual authenticity and not just an activist, but an activator to every environment that she's in. So definitely got to know this leader, who she is, some of the work she's been doing. You're and so good. I'm trying. Hey, I'm just being honest. I can't lie. You know, this is 
is like a, a lie detector being here at Sunday Stacks, right? Y- y'all could feel if we was lying <laughs> right. out there. Go back to previous episodes if you need to. We keep it 100 here, yes. but we say that in the sense that we keep it genuine. We keep it authentic and truthful. And I love this woman here, Shemekha Ebony, as a friend, as a partner, Thank as a you. wife. But I'm honored to walk with her as I see her empowering so many people, including women. But don't think the men don't catch her empowerment, too, so don't get that part twisted. <laughs> but she gives that energy to me so I can talk right to the men and get their minds right okay. and, and help them. But for the women, she that. definitely holds it down. And that's the beauty of this balance that we've learned to create harmony and share that harmony. But without further ado, I really want you to tell people some of the things you've done this week, um, particularly Capital Tonight. Um, that feature that you had was amazing. We'll oh, definitely put a link um, in the bio for some clips. Um, always on our social media platforms, you can see little behind the scenes clips. Uh, I am brilliant. You are too. Shemeka Ebony, Michael Stewart Isaacs, the brilliant bunch. You know it. We got so many brands, but you know we out here. So we love connecting with people and we know there's so many ways and so many different audiences so we got to find many ways to really impart but again yeah, Shemekha talk to us tell you. us about Women's History Month what you've been doing and the history is still making oh what an incredible opportunity um, I've been intentional this March um, for those of you that have been following me in community you know I actually start in February um, uh, this Black Women's History Month in February <laughs> Right. March, right? Right. Uh, lifting up, uh, bringing that connection. Um, and I was really intentional this year in creating spaces to show better than I can tell about appreciating women around me. So we had an author talk earlier this month that you all can catch some past episodes on where we allowed space for women to be healed and be heard and shout out to Spectrum for coming and covering that because I think it's really important that we don't just celebrate national women or women in history uh, that everyone may know but celebrate the women making history in your local community as well tell them thank you send them flowers send them a love note Shout them out for how they're impacting your lives. Uh, I've spent a lot of uh, time in reflection since Capital tonight. It was a really great episode. Having the opportunity to um, also share that stage and have some uh, back behind the scene moments to get to know the uh, reporter that was interviewing us, uh, to hear her story, her celebration of the women that came before her, even in her industry in media, was very significant and of value, and it made me so proud uh, to be able to lift up the work behind Black Girl Magic Market that uh, addresses in action and activities and practice what it looks like for equitable economics to be transferred uh, and transactions to be made through building relationships like with through Black Girl Magic Market and being uh, on the scene for so long, just holding space for Black women in entrepreneurship. And uh, having that space and having them kind of lift that as far as, you know, how do I feel about the celebration of history? And I'll repeat that here. It's just important for us to make policies that protect us if you really appreciate us, you know, create policies that help us grow if you really want to um, value our contributions as women. And we can add that as a complementary to what we do with Women's History Month and Women's Appreciation Month in March. We can hold that space um, much longer and create more sustainable outcomes that will make our future generations uh, stand in the space that we're fighting for today. That's beautiful. And I think what I learned from the episode, though I was there on set, you know, when you were shooting it, being able to watch the final broadcast and just having that sensory shift of seeing the poise that you have in regards to how you express the work you're doing. And, you know, again, anyone that I encourage you to check out our social platforms, we'll try to find links for you all and put it in the description for you to check out the episode. But just a lot of nuggets and wisdom that was expressed by Shemekha, as well as the other guests that she was on with in regards to some of the, the things that women are concerned with, some of their right. their issues from their own bodies to how they show up in business and how that impacts the household. And even, let's be honest, our male egos that and how we're adjusting to women having such authority and power. And it's a lot of things that we have to start to 
be okay with and see a shift in culture Mm -hmm. because the way we've been approaching it has been very toxic and unhealthy that we're so afraid of other people having a say in this world that we've now kind of deviated into these other divisive kind of tones, these separatist attitudes towards how we're approaching living in the same country. And we really have to, you know, do better as an organization. I think that's what we're after is just how do we as I am brilliant, as Sunday Stacks, lift a voice that celebrates a simple thesis, family, community, and company. Mm -hmm. Everything you see within our branding, everything you see within what we're building is just a reflection of authenticity in our real life. As well as we reflect on that, that company part, that being an entrepreneur, but being an entrepreneur in company with other people around you. I've watched Shemekka grow Black Girl Magic Market beyond herself to not be a divisive platform, but to be something that strengthens women to feel the confidence they need as Black women, as Latina women, as even white women have engaged and been a part of the growth of Black Girl Magic Market, the support they have and the shared transactions that can happen across cultural lines. No different than... I don't have to be Chinese to eat Chinese food. I don't got to be Mexican to eat Mexican food. Right. When it comes to goods and services, products, candles, you name it, that people out here building and growing, we don't need to limit our economic growth to just saying the people that look like me should be it's the only one to purchase from me. No, our readiness level has to be ready as a community. We have to know how to still grow our community with the, all the baseline capacities of resources, education, and so forth. But we also have to know how to transact with all people if we're really going to find a way through economics to grow our opportunities. And that's the voice we're just trying to lift up. And if anyone's ever confused about anything we're saying, please leave a, a question and comment, you know, in yeah. the comments or even that's just it. leave your comments and we'll respond back because we want this to be a dialogue here at Sunday Stacks. But again, please check out the work Shemekka is doing um, during this Women's History Month, making history, but at the same time, not just doing it for that sake alone, but to make an impact that that it vibrates and, you know, continues to go into other households and other families, that women's empowerment is not just a, a buzzword, but it's a true feeling that allows yes. for you all to grow and resonate. And I appreciate my wife kind of being a part of a, being a symbol of that for so many women. So I honor you in all okay, your okay. shape, you forms and capacities. I'm grateful for you Thank in my you. life, you know, so. With that being said, we need to shift to our main topic of this week. We love talking about Women's History Month, but as we identified in some of the interviews Shemekka has done this week, that the world right now we're riddled with controversy. Yes, controversy. And this is something I have in my own personal thesis within Entrepreganda. That second quarter, as we're preparing for right now in the first quarter, and in the first quarter, this is the game plan, y'all. Now, we, 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 we don't necessarily focus on controversy as the first thing. You know, in the first quarter, we're out here just building out our plans, what we wanted to do for 2024, how we're going to make an impact, how we're going to have our year over year returns for our business, how we're going to pay our taxes. We're going to, you know, you got all of that laid out for the first quarter of the year. You're getting yourself started. You're getting your vision together. You're building your team. But then it comes to that season of the second quarter. And it's what I call controversy season, that people get distracted because there is now going to be a bunch of things that are meant to make us uncomfortable. And let's not forget, this is an election season. So the second quarter controversy, let me explain controversy season to all of those who may not understand what I'm talking about. Right. So, again, Sunday Stacks, we focus on FCC. Right. But in this season, you have so many things that start happening in the second quarter. Simple things in a family level. You have kids that might be graduating from college. They might be graduating from high school. So you got to run around, get the tickets, do this, that and the third. So that's that. That's his own controversy on the family level. That's just one example. Right. Then you got your community level of controversies. Right. You got everyone out there having to figure out what they're going to do. This is, again, election season. So you got to get the campaigners out there trying to figure out who's doing what, what voices, who you're going to vote for so you have all that controversy noise that you hear out there Mm -hmm. then we get into the company season and man do we have some controversy on the company level i mean even we keep it home to you know the the black family you got places like the fearless fund and those type of organizations that are being sued 
for as we talk about during a Women's History Month, empowering women, particularly right. black women, to be able to fund their businesses with money that they're dutifully raising to help support something that has such a huge gap. I mean, we're not even talking about a gap. There's not even a, a gap. This is a, a, a big heaping hole between <laughs> the economic opportunities, the investment funds that go to black women, let alone black men, let alone <laughs> Latina women, let alone any other culture, because of, again, historical you know factors that we aren't the ones who created this financial fiscal system. Let's keep that 100, right? Let's be controversy there. We didn't create the money. We didn't create the system or the game mm-hmm. of trades or supply and demand. Put that value we, on it. We didn't do any of that. We were the value at some point. Our work, our labor to this day, our work and our labor still is the value of this capitalistic system, right? So there we go with controversy there. I'm putting the gauntlet down. I'm talking to capitalism. I'm challenging capitalism in an election season to care. And To decide controversy is something I encourage all of you out here to do. It is time to not stand in the wind anymore and watch for the atrocities of our world to continue to happen for your family, your community and your company. And somehow we're not going to be able to change anything. We're just going to keep on waiting for someone else to do it. That's what we're talking about when we say I am brilliant. Right. You have to be the leader. That your family, your community, and your company need right now. There's no one else that's going to be able to save you. There's no one else that's going to write those letters to your senators. There's nobody else that's going to write those letters or email communications to your your supply chains that you need, whether here in the U.S. or other countries. There's nobody else that's going to write that letter to your your child's teacher that's going to help them get that better grade because you're going to make sure your child gets on top of it Mm -hmm. so they can be on. Like There's so much that we can be controversial about in healthy, positive growth ways. That we're just yeah. sitting on the sideline not doing anything. And basically here, Sunday Stacks, here with I Am Brilliant, we are not sitting back anymore on the sidelines. We ain't just holding a pretty sign anymore. We out here connecting and getting involved with the people and we're listening. And so we've been launching a listening tour with what we're building with I Am Brilliant. We're collecting the data. We're collecting the information and we're ready to articulate it back to you in a way that creates a roadmap for success. Oh, yeah, I said it, a roadmap for success. We got that voice here, and we're ready to share it on so many various topics that bring controversy. But, Shemak, when you hear the word controversy, what's the first thoughts that come to you? And, and do you understand why it, controversy season is just now starting to erupt? Well, when I think about controversy and what it uh, first says, it's the thoughts of fear of conflict. Uh, that controversy brings. Um, but people attack what they're afraid of and what they don't know about, and that creates controversy. And people being vocal about what they believe in creates controversy. Uh, I've just noticed, you know, since you uh, shared this teaching with me years ago, I've just seen the cycle happen uh, often, year after year, you know, like clockwork, controversies have come just as, you know, you have theorized. I've seen the practice of it happen, uh, especially when it comes to our attention, uh, seeking uh, methods and practices for marketing, advertisement, and what media attention controversy brings. So that's kind of been my awareness and deeper understanding of the times. And uh, I am being more intentional with the knowledge of being strategic and how I move forward, how I take in what I do during this time. And to your point, this is a, an election season and uh, controversy season is going to be much more, it's going to extend throughout the year to uh, the end of the year and how we best prepare for that, how we guard our hearts and our minds and still move forward and mobilize is very important to me. Oh man, it's gonna happen now, and we we I mean you know it's gonna be something. It's gonna be the shooting. It's gonna be the this. It's gonna be the that. That's gonna pull at your heartstring. That's gonna pull at your purse strings. It's gonna be something that makes you feel like that. That's the tools of control, and you have to now no longer be just controlled by the controversy, but you have to step into your own grace, and you have to understand that hey. I can maybe create the right kind of controversy to start saying the things that have not been said yet. And we encourage that. And we're going to do that here at Sunday Stacks with I Am Brilliant, with my own movement. Check out all the platforms that I'm out here trying to teach because we're ready to get past the basics and really get us to a place where this world can not only find balance, but harmony within everything we're pursuing. So without further ado, talking about controversy, that brings us to our... 
Wiz of, of the week. week. Wiz of the week. Wiz of the week. And just keeping it on the theme of controversy, right? So we started this off with empowerment of women and that we're in Women's History Month. But going into the second quarter of uh, a year, you start to see that controversy season coming. And like clockwork, we're already getting a little advanced preview of what it's looking like. But recently, we're going to bring up Candace Owens. Candace Owens is in the headlines once again. Yes, during Women's History Month, we might as well mm-hmm. highlight a woman here in the Wiz of the Week, and Candace Owens is definitely a lightning rod for controversy. She says what she thinks. She is convicted about what she believes in it, right. like it or love it. You know, you don't have to agree, but ultimately she's found a way through controversy to find her voice. But look at how life will happen that Candace Owens finds herself fired. After appearances on a breakfast club, after months and months of a back and forth with a gentleman by the name of Ben Shapiro, who was her, or I guess essentially her boss at a job she had at something called the Daily Wire, which I guess is a news platform to tell salacious stories of opinions, uh, more conservative based types of thinking. But essentially what she did was she spoke out of turn in regards to several issues that are highly controversial, highly political. I don't even have to say it here on the show because you already know what it is and what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. And you see how controversy has now morphed into something else through the Internet, through people's feelings and personal beliefs and through, honestly, things that we've seen that are like almost unbelievable that we haven't seen in so many years at wartime and other things that we're like, oh, my goodness, this cannot be happening right before our eyes. And yet there's still something else. That will come up as controversy that will distract you. And Candace Owens is a person who will speak the truth or as she feels her truth. And I can't agree and co-sign on everything she says or does. But at the same time, she's someone who speaks her truth through controversial practices. And now in this season, not only are you going to see people doing that for marketing tactics, for things they need to promote for summer events that they got to kick up some dust so you can pay attention to their album sales or their tour or their this or even here at Sunday Stacks. Hey, I am brilliant tour. We're going to be on the road with the Shemek Mobile. We come yeah. into cities and states around this country. So we, we, we kicking up the dust. But what we're going to do with this power of controversy is that we're going to say the things that need to be said, that guard family, community and company. I don't care about your political beliefs. Don't I'm not sharing any political beliefs because I don't have any. I care about people. I care about how we all communicate with one another. I care about how we get together and share resources in healthy ways and how we look at the world, not just in things such as democracies, but we look at the fact that each person doesn't want what the other person wants. And if we can get to a place of true negotiation, that we start to look at what everyone wants in the world versus us assuming that they want what we have. That's what creates the worst controversy in the world is that people assume that somebody wants what they have versus allowing people to define what they want and then be able to find the autonomy to seek it. Mm -hmm. And essentially, we're helping people get out of their own way. I'm a professional speaker. Shemeca does facilitations with major organizations to help people stay on guard. But we also work with the individuals, the people out here that reach out to us to allow for you to help you navigate this controversy season. So as always, links to all our social media and also our web platforms will be in the bio here at Sunday Stacks. We share this across all of our other social platforms so people can have access to us and have access access to the information. Yes, you got to pay. You got to pay to understand the work that we do and how powerful it is. But understand it's the best value you'll ever have in this because we're really out here giving some really good dust. And if you felt it in this episode, please like and subscribe and make sure to tell a friend to tell a friend. Shemek, you got anything else to add that you want to, you know, give some wisdom nuggets before we wrap today? I would say definitely be intentional of what you feed yourself, what you allow into your mind, what you look at, what you listen to, that it is affirming of where you want to go. Conversations that you're having in your circles, if it's growing you, wonderful. If it's not, be honest with yourself and give some time to yourself. Um, This is a season where people are either fasting or um, committing themselves. Uh, in a way that are denying themselves in as an offering to become a better version of themselves. You know, be mindful of that, of the people that are around you, but also challenge yourself to go after something too, um, regardless of what 
faith you believe in or what religion you practice, there's a time in everyone's practice that you really need to be evaluating what you're putting into your mind, the thoughts that are coming and creating and the conversations you're having because you are investing in your future. And if you don't think about this intentionally during this 2024 journey that you're going to be on, you're going to be moved and swayed by what is popular and what is uh, being put in front of your face. And that may not be the direction you need. So that's the seeds I'll drop for this week. I love it. I love it. And like I said, beware of cancel culture because they'll try for it. But what can you cancel? If they say your name, they say your name. So most people don't even remember why they know your name as long as they hear your name. So that's the other trick of controversy season. So as we wrap up with Sunday Stacks, as always, you can check out all of us on our platforms on YouTube. Again, we have Sunday Stacks. We have I Am Brilliant. Um, Check us out here. Like and subscribe on all pages. You'll get more of our work on I Am Brilliant, the speaking engagements and the different platforms we get featured featured on, as well as here at Sunday Stacks, you'll hear our raw, honest opinion on family, community, and company in ways that we want to give our thought leadership to what you all can truly aspire to be. So we thank you for your time. As always, we say, I I am am brilliant, brilliant, and you are too. Thank you again for checking out this episode, and we'll see you next week. Peace.